Most people, half of what they thought today is the same things they thought yesterday. About themselves, about their life, about their business. That's why most people's lives don't change very much. But if you wake up and you start realizing, I'm living in a home, an emotional home I don't want, you can change it. See, because everybody's got it. If you've got a billion dollars, check this out. If you had a billion dollars, but the habitual emotions you go back to are frustrated, pissed off, then your life is called frustrated and pissed off. It doesn't matter how much money you have. Write this down, please. The quality of my life is the quality of my habitual emotions. The quality of my entire life is nothing but the quality of my habitual emotions. Whatever habits of emotion, wherever my emotional home is, I will find a way to get back there. And until I change that, I'm gonna have a problem. How many of you see people in some part of the world in my country, for example, you'll see this in the middle of America where there's certain places that have cyclones all the time. Or maybe down in New Orleans or places where every few years you get a huge storm that wipes out everybody right on the coast there. But then two years later, it happens again. They rebuild, it happens again. How many have ever thought to yourself, why don't these people move? And why don't they move, guys? because it's what they're conditioned. They call that home. I don't want to leave my home, it's what I know. It's easy to see when it's somebody else and it's physical. It's harder to see when it's yourself and it's emotional because we have an emotional home. Some of you grew up in a really tough environment. I did too. Pretty brutal environment. Very painful environment. Part of I am who I am is because I didn't want to suffer, I had to find answers, and because I suffered so much, I don't want you to ever suffer if I can do anything about it. I can't control it, but I can help massively. But it's only because I suffered so much I don't want anybody else to. But think about it. Most people suffer even when they're successful. Listen, if you're successful and you're not fulfilled, that's the ultimate failure. If you got people that love you and you're not feeling joyous and alive, something's wrong. And you know what it is? You got an old home you're used to. Maybe the home you're used to is not a very happy home. It's a, a home of worry, a home of frustration, a home of anger, a home of feeling everything's unjust. And so you find a way to get back home using whatever the environment you can use. How many of you know somebody who's always pissed off about something? How many of you know somebody who is always worried? How many of you know someone who's not really funny but they think they are, <laughs> and they crack themselves up telling stupid jokes. How many know someone like this who cracks themselves up and they laugh so much that even though it's not funny, you find yourself laughing too? These people have different emotional homes. Some people's home is anger. They'll always find something to be angry about. It's what they're used to. It's their conditioning. So even when the storm comes in and messes up their life, they go right back to that same shit. Wouldn't it be nice to upgrade your home your emotional home where you live? What if you could live every day with a vast majority of the emotions you had were joy and gratitude and love and appreciation, even in the middle of COVID, even when somebody does something unjust, compassion, playfulness? What would that feel like if you were in those states every day, 90, 95% of the time when you weren't, you got out of it quick? You can make that change this weekend, and I'm not exaggerating an ounce. I'm not saying you're going to be perfect and never have a negative feeling, because negative feelings are sometimes a signal to make us change. But most people have a negative feeling, and they just hang on to it and keep living with it and find other things to be negative about. They will never give you what you want. The money won't do it. The acknowledgement of others won't do it. Everything you think will do it will not do it. Only one thing will do it. You drawing a line in the sand and making the most important decision of your life that you're going to live in a beautiful state no matter what. Because life is too short to suffer. And we have a choice. Listen to me. Pain is sometimes part of life, but suffering is a choice. But for most of us, it's not a choice because we have the habit of suffering, being stressed, being worried, being frustrated, being pissed off. And because we're wired that way, that's the muscle we built. But if we rebuild our home here so it's even more magnificent, then you can have the life that you desire and deserve. And you do it one weekend only if you give your all and push enough energy out while you're doing it, while you're learning. Who's up for this here? So who's up for enhancing your home massively? Say I. I. Say I.